In this tutorial, we will get to the design of optimized edge couple bandpass filter using advanced design system and the most important parameters and the way that they can be optimized to get the best performance will be investigated. RF bandpass filters are fundamental components that prevent interference between signals operating at nearby frequencies, which is essential in many RF applications. There are different kind of bandpass filters, edge coupled filters, hairpin filters, interdigital filters, comb line filters, cavity filters, parallel coupled resonators. Based on the application and the amount of available space, each one can be utilized. Each one has their own specification that distinguish them from each other. Different applications are defined for band pass filters. Wireless communication. They are used to isolate desired communication channels and suppress unwanted signals or noise. Medical devices. Filters are used to extract specific signal frequencies. Audio processing. They enhance specific frequency ranges in audio signals. Radar and sonar systems. Filters specify frequency bands for detection and analysis. And instrumentation. To select signals of interest for precise measurements in sensors and oscilloscopes. Edge coupled bandpass filters are a type of microwave filter design where adjacent microstrip lines are spaced closely for electromagnetic coupling. This coupling determines the bandwidth and frequency characteristics of the filter. Even and odd impedances are defined for each coupled lines and are determined by parameters of the lines. All of these parameters should be tuned in a way that provide the best even and odd impedances to meet the impedance matching requirements. Tuning these parameters may be difficult, especially in cases that we need to increase the order of the filter. But Advanced Design System has provided the optimization tool that has made this process easier. In this video, we are going to go through the design process to design an edge coupled filter that cover frequency from 2.3 GHz to 2.5 GHz that widely use in wireless communication systems. Let's get started. At the first step, we need to open a new schematic. Then we define a substrate for our design. In this design, we will use the RO4003 with 3.55 dielectric constant. Coupled line are brought from T-line microstrip section. There are three parameters introduced by this element, width, length, and space. In this design, we are going to connect six of these couples lines. Two 50 ohm transmission line also are connected at the input and output ports. To achieve the best value for parameters, we will design them as defined parameters to be able to tune or optimize them.
We need to consider that filter is reciprocal device. Therefore, the first and the last coupled line should have the same parameters value. It is also true for the second and fifth coupled lines and so on. The input and output lines should be 50 ohm, so their width should be calculated for this impedance. To do that, we can use the tools menu and then line calc. In the open window, we can set the dielectric constant and height of substrate along wide desired frequency. Using the synthesized bottom, the width for 50 ohm is obtained. In the window, to set the defined parameters, we need to enable the tune and optimize and set the minimum and maximum value for the each parameters. We need to use the S parameter analyzer and set the desired frequency range to extract the insertion loss and reflection coefficient and add two terms at the input and output terminals.
In some designs, we need to align the input and output ports at the same line. In this case, we can use the curve line and set the parameters accordingly. If we run the simulation, we can see the results for S11 and S21. It is clear that it needs to be tuned to get better results. We can limit the frequency range to have better view of the results. In order to optimize the parameters, we can use the optimization tools. Additionally, some goals also should be defined along with the optimization tool. In goal window, we need to define the desired parameter and frequency range. In this design, we are going to optimize S11 and S21, so we need to define two goals. In optimization window, there are some items that can be changed. In edit algorithm section, we can choose our desired type of optimization and maximum iteration. In this design, we are going to use the gradient optimization method.
It continues until it reaches to the minimum error. After that, we can update the design to update the parameter values. As you can see, reasonable results at desired frequency range is achieved by this method. We can generate the layout from the schematic to confirm the result in layout environment and prepare the filter for fabrication. It can be done easily by layout menu and choosing the generate update layout. Since we want to have the input and output ports aligned, we can get back to the schematic and change the curve angle parameters. Also in order to remove the interface of curves by coupled lines, we can change the wall parameters value of the first and last couple lines. After preparing the layout, we need to define a substrate for this layout and set the related parameters. At the next step, ports should be defined and applied at proper location at the input and output. An M setup is needed to simulate the layout. In this section, we can set the frequency and change the meshing options.
you can see that the simulation results and layout also are reasonable and meet the requirements. S11 is around minus 20 dB and insertion loss is less than minus 1 dB at desired from 2.3 GHz to 2.5 GHz. If you are interested in these kind of tutorials, like the video and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching.